Hello students, welcome to Turbo Machines and uh, we are uh, discussing about this turbo, I mean the fifth module which is um, uh, uh, centrifugal pumps and centrifugal compressors which are hydraulic pumps. Okay, so first part that what we have seen is like um, the definitions and the construction details and the working principle of the centrifugal pump. So in this video we are going to you know, watch the classification of pump. So first we will see the, what is the uh, classification, how these pumps are classified and then later so we will see how the uh, these um, uh, centrifugal pumps are classified. So first let us see the classification of pump. The first one is positive displacement pump. When you take any pump, so it can be a supply, a, a positive displacement, a rotodynamic and other types of pumps. So positive displacement pumps are called as reciprocating because so it will have the to and fro motion. So it will have the positive uh, displacement. So it is called as the uh, positive displacement pump. And then the example is like reciprocating. So when you look at this reciprocating, so it will have piston cylinder arrangement and it will move forward and backward direction which is to and fro motion. If you take uh, the IC engines, internal combustion engines, so you come across this reciprocating pumps. So in that in internal uh, combustion engine, so it will have the piston and cylinder. So it will be moving so forward and backward direction. So in this reciprocating pumps, so the examples are uh, piston pumps, plunger pumps and bucker pumps. So these are the examples for reciprocating pumps. Coming to this rotary pumps, so rotary, so because there will not be any piston arrangement, so there will be a rotor which will be rotating. So it is, it will be having, it does not have to and fro motion, rather it will be having so rotary motion. So that is why these pumps are called as rotary pumps. And the examples of these rotary pumps are called as gear pumps, vein or lobe pumps, and the screw pumps okay this is all about this rotary pumps coming to the next one the second one is rotodynamic pump and so in this rotodynamic pump the examples are so radial flow pump axial flow pump a mixed flow pump so these are the examples of a rotodynamic pump so uh, because based on the direction of the flow so it will be called as a, uh, the radial or axial or mixed flow. If the flow is in the radial direction, it is called as radial flow pump. If the flow is in the axial direction towards the axial, uh, towards the shaft, so it is axial flow pump. And if it is uh, having both directions, like entering into this uh, uh, shaft, impellers in the one direction, one flow, and then again leaving the uh, impellers in the other uh, um, axis, then it is called as a mixed flow pump. And then the other types of pumps are there, jet pump and air lift pump. So the, in this way, these uh, the pumps are classified. So now moving on to the uh, main parts of the centrifugal pump. So coming to the centrifugal pump. So this is the diagram what you are seeing on the screen, right? So so in this in this diagram, so we can see that so there is an eye of uh, eye of impeller, and then uh, veins are attached to it and there will be inlet pipe and through this inlet pipe so water uh, enters into the inlet pipe and then so it will uh, go to the uh, impellers and uh, it will fall on the veins and then through this impeller so it is having a volute casing so through that volute casing so water flows uh, out through the outlet pipe so this is the uh, construction details of centrifugal pump actual centrifugal pump and let us see the what are the main parts of centrifugal pump so one is impeller casing so in that casing volute casing and vortex casing and then casing with guide blades and then suction pipe with a foot wall and a strainer and then delivery pipe so these are the different main parts of the centrifugal pump so let us see in details one by one so first one is impellers as I told you that, so impeller uh, does is the main important part of uh, any pump or turbines, what it can be. So these impellers are mounted over the shaft. So impeller is a set of uh, you know components like a shaft will be there, and then top of the shaft a series of blades will be there. So it can be uh, fixed blades or movable blades and then so there will be a rotor so the entire setup is nothing but impeller so which will have which, which is uh, which will directly acting so to produce the, the pressure energy of water and next one is a casing so casing is nothing but um, so it is a, it gives a housing effect 
to for the flow of water for example water takes uh, comes through the inlet and it falls on the uh, different blades and hits the different blades and then through uh, casing it will go out so this casing will uh, protects the water to and guides the water to flow in a particular direction so that it will not uh, move out and splashes out so and based on the design and uh, so it will be classified into two different types so one is a volute casing and a vortex casing so what we are seeing in this diagram is nothing but volute casing and the casing with the guide blades so even sometimes that fixed blades will be attached to the casing so it won't uh, move or rotate or uh, change the position so it will be exactly fixed on the casing so water comes and falls on it so it will give it will guide the water to flow so it will um, send the water and show the way for the water to move so that is nothing but the casing with guide blades next one is a suction pipe with a foot wall and a strainer so you know the suction pipe the suction pipe is uh, immersed into the uh, well or uh, ground level where water has to be lifted up and then so that that pipe will have a strainer so that any sediment particles and dust particles are present in that so that will be arrested and that uh, clean water will flow into this impeller so that is the reason so suction pipe will have a strainer to uh, remove the dust particles and un uh, so unwanted materials and all so only the plain water will move through the suction pipe and then delivery pipe so this delivery pipe will be uh, given to this overhead tank so where that high pressure uh, water will flow through this uh, delivery pipe and uh, get discharged in the uh, overhead tank or the destination place so these are the uh, main different parts of uh, different main parts of centrifugal pump and the functionalities now let us see the actual classifications and before going to the classifications so one more time so we will see what are the things that we are, have uh, discussed today so the classifications based on the classification so this is positive displacement pump and uh, a rotary pump and rotodynamic pump and other types of pumps so it will be reciprocating rotary rotodynamic other types and the reciprocating piston pumps plunger uh, bucker pumps rotary pumps will have gear pumps vane low pumps screw pumps rotodynamic pumps are radial flow pump axial flow pump mixed flow pump and other type of pumps so jet pump air lift pump so then we have seen the main different parts of uh, the centrifugal pumps it will have impeller casing volute casing vortex casing casing with guide blades suction pipe with a foot valve and a strainer delivery pipe so these are the main different parts of centrifugal pump so we will see in the next video and we have seen the classification of even that uh, pump uh, what you call so this classification part of the reciprocating uh, centrifugal pump will be seen will be discussed in the next video thank you for watching this video